When Typhon attacked us on the Golden Isle, he crushed us. It was only the arrival of a new god that saved us. But why were we alone? Why did we need a new god? Because the gods were, as always, scattered. Zeus and Hades were off in the underworld. And Poseidon, who knows what he was doing? After Typhon, the brothers argued amongst themselves about never being there for one another. Tempers flared, harsh words were spoken. Ultimately, Zeus told the gods who questioned him that they should find their own kingdom to rule if they doubted him. And so, they left. Poseidon raised a shattered island, a failed prototype once built and abandoned by Daedalus from the sea. The gods who followed Poseidon shaped the land and settled there. But catastrophe struck the rest of the world. Earthquakes, fires, floods. Humanity was plunged into chaos while the gods feuded. Get lost, bird brain. I'm here to see Phoenix, not a Phoenix. It's all right, Phosphor. Why don't you go stretch your wings? Hello, goddess of unity. <sighs> not a lot around here right now. The mortals are suffering, and Zeus is furious. I tried to reach out to Poseidon, and Zeus placed me under lockdown. I've just been sitting around, trying to learn how to speak Nymph. He's proud, Phoenix. He wants them to come back of their own accord. He doesn't want another god to fix this for him. But how can I be the goddess of unity if I can't even help unify the Pantheon? I feel so helpless. And... and the mortals need us. Sorry, Champion. Champion? Wait! Maybe that's it! We can't interfere directly without upsetting Zeus. But maybe we can find a way to help if we get someone to help us. Someone we can give a little... divine inspiration? The Scrying Pool! In these waters, we can see the whole mortal world. Maybe with this, we can find a champion who can convince the missing gods to return. But what mortal could we trust with a mission to unify the gods? Good morning, Athena. Good morning, Ares. No fighting, you two. <laughs> Good morning, new Olympian Phoenix. Sorry that you never got carved. See, the sculptor... Well, there was another earthquake. Like the one my family was in, and... <sighs> But, we go on. There's work to be done. And I know you gods are working hard too. Wherever you are. Phoenix, 
You saved me. You saved yourself. That was quick thinking. Huh? Huh? Hello? Is someone there? It's me, Phoenix. Ah, I'm having a fever dream then. Or I've finally gone insane from loneliness. Neat. Are you sure about this, Phoenix? This one seems kind of... weird. Ash, your love of the gods burns brightly. We can see it all the way from Olympus. Even in these dark times, you serve the gods. Why? Because... because we need you. Or I do anyway. You give me hope, and I think you need us. Maybe not in the same way, but... We do need you, Ash. Now, more than ever. Listen, have you ever considered the exciting career path of champion? How do I start? You stop asking questions and get on the magic boat. It'll do the rest. Let's go! Sizes. She knows things. That's what she does. Fair enough. Ah, you're here, champion. Welcome to the Pyrite Island, Ash. Daedalus's lost prototype. Poseidon raised it from the ocean floor. And it's now the domain of the lost gods. Wow. Okay, Ash. This is it. You'll need to find the lost gods, and help them see that we all need each other. Here I go. I can do this. Probably. First, presents. Something for you right up here. Hey, heads up! is not okay. Let the weapons guide your hand, Ash. You'll be giving Ares a run for his money in no time. Those weapons are magic. But where did you learn to fight like that? It's... It's like I just know. If this is a fever dream, at least it's a fun one. Huh. There's something special about you. these altars. They can help you on your adventure. Okay. Hey, maybe I can use the junk the monsters dropped here. I mean, it's not junk. And you're at an altar. Maybe be a tiny bit respectful? Oops. Uh, sorry. I'm just excited. <sighs> okay. This is just like praying at the temple. Don't get weirded out, just because the gods are actually talking to you now, Ash. Gods, please watch over me. Neat!
feel so powerful. I feel like I could walk on air. I feel like I could fight on air. <laughs> I think even Hermes could jump that gap. But I'm the Olympian of unity, aren't I? Well, one unified bridge coming right up. Uh, hold up. I'm... I'm new with this. What the Hades was that? Us? Uh, what the... Something's wrong. I... can't... Phoenix? I... Are you there? Don't leave me alone again! <sighs> oh, Phoenix. What a dummy. Huh? A talking bird? What? I am not a what. I am a who. I am Athena, goddess of wisdom. Excuse my owl form. But we don't want Zeus to know I'm sticking my beak into this mess. Well, looks like you're going to need me to help you out, since Phoenix has already screwed up and broken your connection. I can't just go around performing miracles. Why not? Phoenix is a god. Who isn't? Look, to use our powers in the world, we gods need proper offerings made to us first. Otherwise, things get out of balance. Earthquakes, floods, improperly spiced cuisine. So, if I made a proper offering, could I restore my connection to Phoenix? Who can say? Me, I can say. And yes, Phoenix likes olives. And olives from the Moria tree are sacred. Try those. Also, I once tried to sacrifice Phoenix at the Moria tree sanctuary. <laughs> Long story, don't ask. But Phoenix will get the joke. Check over by those olive trees. Then make an offering at an altar. I'll see you on the other side. If you two don't screw this up.
now to offer them to a god I hear in my head because an owl that is also a god told me to on a magic island. This is fine. This is normal. Watch over me. Phoenix. Olympian, and my new boss. Uh, I humbly offer you these olives, I guess. Ah, you did it! You restored our connection! Phoenix, you're back! Yes, Athena said you can't do miracles without an offering, so... Uh, Hope you like the olives. Astina and her olives. She's not going to let me live this one down. Better go see what she has to say, champion. <laughs> 